everyone, and welcome to the Women's Wrestling Syndicate. It's been a long time, but I'm officially back to doing this full time. And today we are going to have the Demon Mistress, Lady Merrix, will be our guest today. But first, let's get to a few announcements. There's some big things happening in Shimmer Women Athletes. First things first, there is going to actually be a Shimmer viewing party. And it's coming up, it's going to be on August 7th from 7.30 to 9.30. And they're going to show some of Shimmer's, Shimmer Women Athletes' best matches. And the best thing is, is not only are you going to get to see great women's wrestling, but there's no cover charge. It's absolutely free. And there's a lot of good food at this venue. And it is in Chicago, Illinois at Stars at Cigars and Stripes at 6715 Ogden Avenue in Berwyn, Illinois. So if you're in the Chicagoland area and you want to see some great uh, women's wrestling at a viewing party, have some great food, and they're even going to sell tickets there for the upcoming events in November. So, you know, check them out, you know. Hey, it's free to go in. Free, you know. It's going to be a really, really good event. Next thing's next. Mm -hmm. Here's the bomb. Big, big, big Shimmer news. In the November tapings of Shimmer Women Athletes, the one, the only, Mickey James, will be there for two days. She will be there on the 11th and 12th of November. And that's going to be at Logan Square Auditorium in Chicago. Tickets go on sale this Sunday at Shimmer, shimmerwrestling.com. So check it out. That's, I, I wonder what kind of impact she's going to make on Shimmer. I don't know. I mean, there's so, there's so much good talent. Do you think she could get the Heart of Shimmer title? Or maybe the, the Shimmer Women Athletes title? Or maybe she'll find a tag team partner and get the tag titles. You don't know. Mickey James, unpredictable as ever. Gotta love her. Now, we have our guest. Our guest is with us right now. Let us get our, our things ready for this interview. And right now we have the Demon Mistress, Lady Merrix, on the line. Demon Mistress, are you with us? Yeah, I'm here, Heather. Hey, how are you? Glad to have you on the show. Appreciate that. I enjoyed being here. Thank you. Hey, not a problem. I have a few questions for you. I want to know what inspired you to get into pro wrestling. I've been into professional wrestling since I was able, old enough to watch TV. Um, being the first match with watching the Fabulous Moore all the way up to Red Lonnie Time, Wendy Richter. Wow. And, and plus, with old influences from some of the older legends like Rick Flair, the Rock and Roll Express. Um, I really sit there, sick of the world, and made it into dressed up to look like Rick Flair's robe. <laughs> that's awesome. That 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 that's really cool. I mean. I'm I'm a fan of the old older time wrestling too because it, it wasn't as you know cookie cutter as it is today. Back then, I mean they they actually you know what I mean they had great great storylines, great gimmicks, and oh, don't don't get me started on on the wrestling of today. <laughs> but yeah yeah that's that's really cool. That's really cool how how you got inspired to get into that. I mean, it's not every day that that. A woman, especially a woman, will get into pro wrestling. You know, they're they're. I mean, they're they're coming out more and more, but still, it's a little. It's more rare than men. You know what I mean? So well, yeah. it is. But the way they're taking women's wrestling now, it's all it's good and all. But to me, it's more too much TNA and not enough wrestling. And you don't mean total nonstop action. You mean actual tits and ass, right? Pretty much. I mean, you don't have the talent. I mean, there's, the talent is there, but they're not. You have these big, like the WWE and all these other places. They're playing on, not to their capabilities, but they're playing to the looks instead of their strength. Yeah. I, 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 t I totally get that. Do you have a favorite uh, favorite woman's wrestler that, that you can you really, really uh, admire and, you know, really 
really looked up to? I did. Um, and then actually what kind of got me to where I am now, and I still follow by it, and that was the late um, Jody Lauer, China. She, not only was she able to compete with the women, but she also showed that she was a force to be reckoned with in the men's division. She was not, she was unstoppable. Mm -hmm. Uh, she didn't. Didn't she have the the European title at one time and the Intercontinental title at one time? And she shared the Intercontinental title with Chris Jericho for a little while. Ah, uh, I, I remember that. I remember that. See, it's it's been a while. <laughs> Thank you for jogging my memory. But then they they started turning her into taking her abilities away from her when she first arrived to the scene. She was like a tornado, a hurricane. I mean, locking her up in a cage when Degeneration X was out there. And she breaks the bars free. And wow. gets out. That's... And I admire, to this day, I admired everything about her. She had the beauty, plus she had the strength, and she didn't take no shit from nobody. No, no, she didn't. She, 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 she was one, she was one tough lady. She stayed true to who she was. Exactly. And, you know, you, you don't find that today with women's wrestlers, you know what I mean? You don't find, you know what I mean, people staying strong and people being true to themselves, you know, especially on, on the television scene, you know what I mean? Yeah, I... She didn't bring her personal problems into what she was portraying on TV. No. Unlike the other one said. Yeah, I, I, I agree 100%. A hundred percent. That, yeah, I, I still can't believe that she's gone. It's like you just wake up, you know what I mean, and you just you just can't believe it, you know what I mean. Uh, yeah, and she she she's yeah. one hell of a lady. I, I admit I was crushed because, um, and and I and I still stand firm to what I'm doing with my trauma, with hopefully with my own career. Um. She was everything that, in, not just in professional, not in professional wrestling, but in my own life that I wanted to strive to be. As I said before, she didn't take no crap from anybody. No. She stood proud for who she was. Her strength, her, her physique was par none. Nobody could touch her. Yeah, I know. Definitely. That's what I strive to be. That's where I want to go. I want to be to the point that when they hear the demon's mistress name, they're going to turn, they're going to run in fear. Like I kind of am. It's, I mean, it's, it's, you're just, you're just so, you're so scary. I, I, I mean, you just, just, just the, the, the picture that, that we use to, to promote the show. I just, every time I close my eyes, I, I, I see it as, ooh, just scary. Just, it's not something that you want to, you know what I mean? I, I wouldn't want to meet you in a, in a dark alley because you'd probably fold me up like a pretzel and, 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 and shove me in a, in, a, in, a, in a dumpster somewhere. And, and yeah, no. <laughs> yes, you, you're, you're, very, you're, very, you're very powerful and intimidating and, and, and scary. So, you know what? You're, you know what? You're, you're, you're living your dream and hats off to you. You know, we love you here at the Syndicate. We do. We really love you. Well, being that was the demon, the mistress, demon's mistress, to bring in the fact of why I'm here, unfortunately, my devil's favorite demon can't be everywhere. So, that's why I'm here, that's why I came to LPW. So you're 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 the the demonic entity of LPW. Wow. Well, <laughs> with a little help from my demon at this point, Fred Krueger. Who? Fred Krueger. Fred Krueger. <laughs> that that's just I just watched that movie last week. He can't be. He, he's 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 not real, demon, demon mistress. He, he's 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 not real. Oh, trust me, he's very real. 
He is everywhere. So basically what you're telling me is the movies were based on true stories, but the names were changed and art imitates life? Oh, yeah. And just like the past Sunday in LPW when he made his appearance with me, we showed we are and will be unstoppable. And you... Uh... Oh, make no mistake. He, probably, he can see you right now. He can see me right, right, right now? Hi, Fred. He's here. Okay, I just got the chills. <laughs> I literally got the chills. And to, to the LPW, I, I heard, you know, just, just not too long ago that you attacked Jack Blaze at the last LPW show. Why did you attack Jack Blaze? Make no mistake, I have the utmost respect for Jack Blaze. What he's done for the business, what he's done for his company, and especially to what he did Sunday night to helping out the children's hospital. I have the highest respect. Mm -hmm. That being said, you know, I've never been one for much for power and mm -hmm. authority. Mm -hmm. But sometimes even the high, the tallest of trees has to be brought down a peg. And that's exactly what I did. He, Jack Blaze, with the legends, as he said, he enjoys what he does. But sometimes, not always about him. Wow. I, for one, am not a person who likes being held down. Kept people held back. And I'm sure there's others out there that are like me. So I took it upon myself with the hell Fred you, 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 I, I, I got your email and there were some photos attached or, or is, is you and you and Freddie are, are in these photos? Yes, we are, Heather. And it's photos of what this, 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 this attack that you did on, uh, Jack Blaze? Exactly. Oh, man. Yeah, we're, 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 here, we're going to stop filming right now, and we are going to take a look at these photos. We'll be right back, right, right after this. Wow, I can't believe that Freddie was actually able to be photographed. That, that's creepy. That is extremely creepy. And can you tell us why... You even made an impact in LPW? Well, Heather, my impact and why I'm in LPW kind of take, it's like a little walk down memory lane. Through my whole years, I've been nothing but tortured, abused, made fun of, humiliated by other peers, everybody, guys, you name it. Mm -hmm. Always felt that I needed to be the little, be the little silent person that's the walking mat, so to speak. Mm -hmm. In my nights of torment and nights of crying, well, <laughs> I found solitude. And so, found reassurance when the dream master himself came across showed me that even the darkest of hells you can find salvation thanks to 
the help of Freddy Krueger as his blaze tormented my soul. He took me into his wings or blades, more to speak. Made me who I am. And now he brought me to LPW to wreak havoc on anyone who tries to be, let's say tries to be a bully, hold those that they feel are weaker down. So does that make me a good demon? Maybe. Yeah. Does that make me a bad demon? Yes, maybe. But make no mistake, anybody who tries to be a bully, better watch out when they go to sleep. <laughs> Better yet, maybe they better not go to sleep. Because I can, I can assure you, Freddy will be there waiting, and their nightmares, and I will be there for eternity. Um, Lady Merrick's um, uh, he's not gonna. You guys aren't gonna. Come, come after me. Are you? I mean, I've been nothing but nice to you this entire interview. Please, please don't come after me because I'm out of coffee. I, I don't have any coffee, and it, I don't have that much money to go get some. So please, could you, could you let me, could you let me sleep well tonight, please? I've, I, I've been, I've been not, not, not nothing but nice, nice, nice to you. Well, Heather, I think. It's not normal for demons to grant wishes, but however, in this in this situation, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, I can and I will protect. You. Whew. Okay. Whew. Okay. I saw my life flash before my eyes. I said, Whew. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, 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 I really appreciate that. And, um, we have one, uh, one, one, one final question. Or it can be broken down into two parts. And, and another fun, fun little question to, to lighten up the mood a little bit. Um, uh, can you tell us? And the wrestling fans out there, what your favorite match of all time happens to be? This is the kind of match that you could watch over and over and over and over and over again and still anticipate the end and not get bored. Well, there's, there's quite a few of them. Actually, there'd probably be a couple of them. But the main one would be the very first appearance of Kane into the WWE when he interfered. Mm -hmm. And his brother, the Undertaker's Hell in a Cell match, ripped uh -huh. off the doors mm -hmm. to I, the Hell in a Cell. I, 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 re I remember that. That was that was epic. That was freaking epic. I mean, just you didn't know who he was. You know, he just like showed up out of nowhere. You know what I mean? And it just like, what the heck? Yeah, yeah. That was def that was definitely epic. Uh, good stuff. Good, very good stuff. That's kind of like me. I just, I come out of nowhere. You hmm. know, one of these days, I'm going to have to come out to one of these LPW shows and 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 check it out. Can Can you tell us when 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 the next one will be? The next show for LPW is supposed to be at the end of September. There's not a specific date yet. They're still work, working on it. Um, they should know here within the next few weeks. Okay. Okay. So you'll 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 keep us posted. Oh, most certainly. Awesome. Awesome. And um, okay. I I I I don't I don't mean to go back to the Jack Blaze thing, but um, what what what's your relationship with what 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 is he the uh, 
the Michael what, Michael Allen Michael Alexander is he like what 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 is he in LPW exactly? Michael Alexander, the GM general manager of LPW. I have something in store for that man. I'm glad and I'm I, not Michael Alexander. <laughs> I'm really glad I'm not Michael Alexander, but but what 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 do you have in store? Can can you share or is it a surprise? Like I as I said before, I don't like especially men who try to hold women down. And in my case, he made the mistake of putting his hands on me, chaining me up, dragging me out to the toward the ring as my demon was calling for me, and I couldn't get to him. He had me chained. <laughs> However, that was short-lived when he realized my strength, my power, surpassed his when I broke my chain in half oh. and shoved him to the wall. That being said, the next show, Michael Alexander, I will feast on your carcass once I have removed your soul from its vessel. He needs to be taught a lesson. As of now, he is starting with a very good friend of mine, Sinister Sin. I've heard of I've I've heard of Sinister Sin. I, I I I think I have her book to 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 be on the show. Hopefully in the future. Yeah, I, I have. <laughs> We've had our differences, but in this case, I can call a truce since we have a common enemy. Okay. Since he feels that nobody else is good enough to take, do his job. Sinister Sin, I do stand for the, I do stand for the people, and I believe you would make a great GM for LPW. You need my help. You need Freddy. We're there. Michael Alexander comes September. Your mind. Wow. Uh, like I said, I'll say it again, fans. I'm glad I'm not Michael Alexander. And I'm glad that I will sleep well tonight. We would like to thank at this time the Demon Mistress Lady Merrix for being with us and sharing some of her her insight on what's to come and her insight on women's wrestling. You know, we, we, we thank you, ma'am, and we hope that you'll be on the show sometime again. You can count on it, Heather. Thank you very, very much. And thank you guys for watching. Next show will be posted soon. We're going to get everything situated. I'm going to have another guest on by the end of the month. And it's 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 gonna be awesome. So like and subscribe, share, you know, like us on Facebook, all that good stuff. Make sure you subscribe to see more of these fantastic, fantastic interviews from the women superstars themselves. Thank you. Have a good night, everybody. We'll see you next time. <laughs>